What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, check this out, man. I wanted to make this quick video because I feel like now the smoke is gone, the smoke has cleared, and the trolling is over. We understand what's going on with MLB the show, coming to Game Pass Day 1, whatever. But I think if you're an Xbox fan or if you're a Sony fan, I think deep down you know Sony's going to be fine, right? I wanted to make this video because I saw too many people actually be upset and afraid and really thinking that there's a problem with this. So I just want to make I just want to let you know I'm not in the category of people that think Sony's done for. <laughs> not at all. If anything, both these companies, meaning Microsoft and Sony, still have things to prove, okay? I don't want to say a lot but still have things to prove if i listen to all the sony fans that were once xbox fans to you guys microsoft has a lot more to prove and i, I gotta be honest with you I, I understand where you're coming from people were able to explain to me how look i believed in microsoft during the xbox one generation and i felt like they failed me they didn't give me what i wanted okay fine so so now you're looking at microsoft like you got to make up for it and for people like you Game Pass is is not enough, and that's understandable, right? That, that makes a hundred. That, that makes sense. For someone like me, Game Pass is enough because for right now, though, because of everything that I haven't been able to experience, and just because of the type of gamer that I am, I'm not really big and needing to own my games. That's just that's just me, right? Now, if you're a Sony fan, right? Right now, you're, you're looking at Sony like, why are you being so quiet? Okay, MLB being dropped on Game Pass and us having to pay $70, regardless as, as how you look at it, it's just not a good look. And I appreciate, shout out again to my big bro, Porter Rock 77 He said this. Shout out to King Trash as well. He also said this in his video, recent video that he just dropped, that it just doesn't look good. And, and it's the truth. It doesn't look good. Is it a big deal? Not really. You guys, Sony fans. I can't believe in Sony more than you do. You know that, right? That's not allowed. Uh, Xbox, believing in Sony more than you do, you should be ashamed of yourself. Sony's going to come out with great games, right? That's what we believe. Returnal does look amazing. looks dope. Whether or not that game is worth $70, that's, that's up to you to decide, right? I, I, I don't know. I look at that game. I don't know any game that's probably worth $70, but that's just me. If it's worth $70 to you because it's a brand new game, a brand new exclusive, then yo, then that's what you got, you know, to look forward for. And not only that, but you probably haven't been spending fifteen dollars a month since November for Game Pass. So maybe you've been able to save up your money so that you could drop seventy dollars on this game that you're gonna be able to play. So believe in Sony. Believe that Sony's gonna have these bangers that come out. Listen, when Sony starts coming out with games and the games aren't good, that's when then you could really look at the other side and be like, holy cow, hold on, maybe they do have. A better a better value on that side right maybe xbox gamers do have a better value on this side again for me game pass just, just makes sense but that's because of the type of gamer that i am i've said this over and over again game pass does have old games i don't need to lie to you but there's a lot of old games that i haven't played and if i haven't played them they are a new experience to me another thing is this right old games at higher frame rate higher fidelity it's not about giving you a new experience if you've already played the game if you've never played a game it is a new experience for you but it's a better experience than someone that has played it before so i could go on and on and on as to why game pass makes sense to me right i i, could, I just can but i understand you if you want the latest and greatest and you want these systems to actually use the power that you bought them for here's the truth i bought an xbox series x because i believed in the marketing that it's the most powerful console I'm looking you straight in your eyes, Sony fans. I will admit, Xbox, I don't care what any, any Xbox fan says out there right now, okay? The PS5 is running games better than the Xbox Series X. More games, at least. It's running more games better than the Xbox Series X. If you want to just count resolution, that's you. Frames mean more to me. And the PS5 is just a lot more stable. It is what it is. I don't regret getting my Series X, right? I don't. But it's still kind of like, hold on, man. You guys told me that this was going to be the more powerful console. And it's coming out that it's not, right? So Sony is winning the power narrative that it didn't even come out with. So what are you guys tripping about? 
I know I make fun of the of the controller, but it is an innovation. Sony is trying something new, right? Isn't that what we want as gamers to try something new? I like the fact that the Xbox controller is pretty much almost identical. I actually use a, uh, an Elite 2 controller, so I'm even using the old controller anyways. But still, everything has its perks, right? Here's the truth. Game Pass is only going to be able to satisfy me to a certain extent, depending on what games they have on it. And then eventually, I'm going to look at Microsoft and be like, yo, where are the games, right? I'm going to look at Microsoft like, where are the games? Which means that day one releases on Game Pass, like something like MOB, eventually won't matter to me unless they could keep that catalog of games in there intriguing. And eventually, they're going to have to have new games to do that. Now, they bought the Zenimax deal with all those 23 studios, so I'm hoping that these new games come out. I've already given up on the power narrative for the Xbox Series X. So, Sony fans, what I'm telling you right now is, which is crazy, it's, it's, it's sad that an Xbox fan has to come on this side to tell you guys to calm down. What I'm telling you is, Sony's fine. Sony's fine. The games are going to come out. When the games start coming out, if they're trash, now you got a problem because if you're dropping $70 for games that aren't good, now you got a problem. I'm gonna tell you right now, anyone that's a, that's a hip hop fan, you remember when 50 Cent first came out with, uh, not his mixtapes, with, uh, with his album, Get Rich or Die Trying, right? That album was amazing. You could listen to the song from track one all the way to the end, right? He never was able to, to, to replicate that, never. Because the album was just that good. That's the way I look at the PS4 and the PS4 games of lineup. Those games were amazing. Even the last games that they dropped, Ghost of Tsushima or whatever, isn't that like an amazing game? The Last of Us 2, even though some people didn't like it because of this political claim or whatever, that whole controversy, and just video games. But it's still an amazing game, is it not? So Sony, last generation, the PS4, destroyed gaming in my opinion. Like they had so many amazing games. If they do anything similar to that, this generation, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. Here's the dilemma. Microsoft has to figure out a way to keep its subscribers subscribed, okay? Because right now, the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series S, there's no need to get these things if you don't have Game Pass. And here's the thing. All it is, it's a Game Pass machine. So if the service of Game Pass, if the value of Game Pass goes down, meaning those games aren't good anymore, or the games that are in there, and it's going to be individualized, don't really entice me anymore, I will be quick to unsubscribe. And then when I unsubscribe, what do I have my Xbox Series X for? I'm just being honest with you. I have it for nothing. So hopefully Game Pass continues to be a value. Microsoft has to drop these games. You Sony fans, you're sitting pretty. You know what you bought your PS5 for. You bought your PS5 for the great exclusives, and the exclusives are coming. Again, the exclusives better be good, right? And if they're not good, I hope you guys call them out on it. And not only that, they can't be too far in between. Y'all can't be getting exclusives, only one exclusive every two years or something like that. It can't be like when Nas just drops album, which that's a 10, one high album every 10 year average, and that's so lame. Y'all don't know about that. Anyways, so Sony's gonna be fine. I swear, if I gotta make a video, another video like this, defending Sony for you Sony ponies, I'm gonna be extremely upset. Extremely upset, because this is ridiculous. I want the console wars to keep going, so I don't want that civil war that you guys got going on to implode on you guys. Calm down, everything's gonna be fine, all right? Everything's going to be fine. And if it's not, then, then we'll see. Listen, if PS Now starts taking off and you start seeing Sony doing something like what Microsoft is doing, then, then you got to worry. But for now, it's all good. The only response that Sony made so far about this MLB The Show was to say the same thing that everybody said. Hey, it wasn't us. It was the licensed owner that decided to put it on Game Pass. And that's it. That's probably the only response you're going to get. You're going to pay $70 for that game. But you know what you're getting with Sony. That's what you want. That's what you bought that system for. I know what I'm getting with the Xbox Series X right now. Game Pass is the only value to it, as long as Game Pass is a value, which means they got to keep bringing games that I want to play, and then the price has to be right. I know the price is going to go up on Game Pass. I'm not dumb. But at a certain point, that price is not, is not going to be suitable for me, for me to see it as a value. I don't know what that threshold is, but we'll see. Doc Dog 185, there's levels to this. Someone's going to be fine, man. Let them be. We out. Peace.